next step uh, in the report designing is uh, inserting a report template to the project to do that uh, we should add a report template item from uh, solution explorer So data set is ready. You saw how to define a data set in the previous video. Now I am going to add a report template. To add a report template uh, in the project name right click then select uh, add new item. This will display a dialog. Add new item. Uh, from the uh, display the templates. Select the report. So I'm selecting the report template. And I'm naming the report template as. RPT TLS RPT titles Let's uh, add this So in the solution explorer you can see RPT titles is added uh, So this is the design view of our uh, RPT title. So now you can able to see the design area of our uh, RPT titles dot RDC. I mean uh, RDLC. I'm pinning this uh, toolbar. Now, uh, since uh, we are in the design view of uh, RPT titles dot RDLC, the toolbox shows uh, set of controls that you can uh, place in uh, in the uh, report template. I'm uh, dragging this table control to the report designer then I'm dropping it there if you see uh, by default it displays a header detail as well as uh, footer uh, first I will uh, resize this because I am going to display 4 columns uh, at present we have only 3 columns here in the table okay Here the header shows that mm, this is actually a uh, report header. Uh, this is a report footer, and this is detail. Say, for example, uh, the report that we are going to generate spans on uh, four pages then whatever you place here in the report header will appear only once before the details of the report start 
and after the details end whatever you place in the report footer will be appeared only once uh, that's what called uh, header and footer here this is specific to the report to add a new column um, go to the far end of the table control I'm selecting the last column then right clicking on it and I'm choosing uh, insert column to the left so this adds uh, one more column now our table has uh, four column I'm pinning this uh, data source again and I'm dropping the title ID as the first element uh, that I want to display so look at here I am uh, dragging the column name and uh, dropping it in the detail part of the table once I drop it uh, in the report on the table header I mean this place you will get the title of the dropout column so if you want to rename, you can uh, rename it for a better name. So here I am providing a ID. Next I am going to drop a uh, actual title in the next column we'll expand this uh, citric as uh, more space and then I am picking the type and uh, dropping it in the third the third column is dropped here finally I will drop a price in the price column So we designed our uh, RDLC file which has ID, title, type and uh, price. Uh, in the footer I don't have anything at present. I'll just place a simple label here that says uh, end of report. This is the second step when uh, displaying the report in uh, .NET. Uh, 
we will see displaying this report in the report viewer in the next video.